Welcome back to our Community Spotlight Series. You're watching Best of Wisconsin Homes, and I'm at uh, Shabazz High School here today with Chris and Eric and Brian, uh, some of the great uh, teachers and leaders in the school, and going to share a little bit more about Shabazz and what's going on in the, in the school here. For sure. Well, so Shabazz, uh, Malcolm Shabazz City High School is a alternative uh, diploma granting uh, MMSD school, like all the other schools. We service about 130 students from all around the Madison area. Um, we're named after Malcolm X, the famous civil rights um, activist. And uh, what we do here is we really focus on trying to have a, a safe and inclusive environment, um, creative um, and kind of flexible classrooms, small rooms. Um, we work with um, project-based learning and kind of try to have real world applications to the things that are happening in our classrooms. Interesting. So a little bit project-based learning. What uh, I think you know a little bit more about that. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Yeah. Um, so project-based learning is kind of like as you speak, um, but it's essentially giving students an opportunity to do real things. Um, so we have kind of a mindset of trying to make the classroom and the school look and feel different uh, for students um, and hopefully building engagement with that. So Shabazz had a really long history of uh, activism, looking at um, different ways of doing service learning. Um, and so project-based learning is this really great umbrella uh, of helping students, I kind of use the tag phrase of like, do the doing. In school, a lot of times you'll like mm -hmm. read about it and you'll talk about it and we're like, well, how can we get you out in the community to, to do it also? Mm -hmm. and. Um, so it ends up kind of bubbling up in lots of ways. We have what are called interdisciplinary classes. So um, there are learning lab classes in particular. At the end of the day, we have like a two hour block. And instead of having just a class about science or English, it's, hey, let's pick a, a topic. So if there's an environmental issue or something, a social issue that's out there or something around music or, or culinary arts, how can we pull all the different subject threads you know, into, into that class that maybe don't just live in one silo. Um, mm -hmm. And the advantage of that then is like, well, how can we find a community partner that, that mm -hmm. does really cool culinary stuff? Or how can we find someone that's really engaging for students to work with and be like, oh yeah, I can see myself in this space. Like I, I get it now as opposed to, mm -hmm. that was a really cool book. Maybe when I'm 18, I could, you know, check that out. Mm -hmm. um, and just ends up creating a lot of really rich learning uh, opportunities. Um, give students a chance to say one of two things, either find out they love something and be like, wow, I can see myself here, or maybe that they hate something, and that's actually <laughs> something really important too to know. Mm -hmm. um, but then they leave high school knowing like this kind of pocket of, of tools of, this is something I could see exploring more. Um, and I just had a lot of great experience, uh, mm -hmm. which we often will talk about too, of like worst case scenario, you walk away living life and having some really good experiences in school, so. Got it, yeah. so the curriculum is kind of, more, it sounds more open-ended. Is that uh, a fair yeah, statement or yeah, what is that make like? it a little bit more dynamic? Uh, we shifted our schedule actually looks even a little bit different to reflect that. We feel like our schedule, you know, kind of reflects our values. So we have these kind of longer chunk classes at the end of the day. Our Wednesday has a lot of flexibility where students can get out of the building, work with community partners. Um, and then we can follow students' voice and choice. So if a students yeah. are into it, we can roll with that. If they're like, hey, what about we kind of take a left turn and, and try this part of the issue? We can do that too, which we think you know keeps students engaged, and uh, that that's how real world works, yeah. right? So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then after school, some some things happen. You got some uh, other programming involved for what 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 happens after Shabazz school? Yeah, so actually, one of the things because of the flexibility we have in the schedule, especially in the afternoons, is um, one of the learning labs we have is called Work It. And it's a chance for students to get out in the community and explore possible career options or just learn some of the employability skills that the district uses with their work-based learning. So for example, we have, uh, if a student comes in to work it, is interested in becoming a vet, we can try to set that student up in an experience. And we have set a student up in an experience where they're working in a veterinary clinic um, every day. They get to leave school a little early to get over there, usually working past the school hours to get that experience and find out if that's what they want to do. Um, we have another student, um, we were just mentioning culinary classes um, that we have here in those interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary classes where students have been able to, to work with local um, community partners at, at local using local produce and, and food sources and going out now in the community and being a culinary intern working in in different restaurants um, here in the madison area as a career pathway and then next semester actually beginning the training at madison college in their culinary arts program while still a student here 
Got it. And this is kind of an opt-in type of school, is that right? Kind of? Yep. Uh, students apply to come here from the other comprehensive schools. And if uh, we have enough applications, there may have to be a lottery system. Okay. But we try to we try to fit everyone try who wants to, to be here. Yeah. Okay. So one of the one of the many good options in the Madison School District, and sounds like some really unique things happening here. So we're proud of what we do. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming on the show and sharing more about our uh, Madison School District and our community spotlight. And I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates, and uh, just grateful for you guys sharing a little bit more about what's going on here.